So what in the world is happening in our Southwest Florida real estate market? Stay tuned and I'm gonna fill you in. This is Live Joy Southwest Florida, where we talk to you about everything you need to know about moving to and living in Southwest Florida. If this is the information you're looking for, you should ring the bell, subscribe to our channel, that way you'll be notified every time we release a new video. You can always reach us directly at 239-776-6872. You can find us on all the social media channels. We've been fielding quite a few calls asking us what in the world is happening in our market here. What are we seeing? What do we think is gonna happen? Obviously, we do not have a crystal ball, but here's one thing that we do know. Our market is moving. So we were seeing a little softening before the hurricane. Uh, the interest rates were kind of driving some folks to take a little longer to make a decision. You know, they were having, buyers were having more uh, opportunities than they'd have before as our inventory was kind of slowly creeping up. Definitely not anywhere where we used to be, but we were looking at two months of inventory versus two weeks of inventory. So that's quite a few more options. And then obviously after the hurricane, um, you know, we've seen a little bit of a pause uh, as we kind of recover. We took some time ourselves personally out in the community helping people and um, everybody just kind of trying to recover from that. And now what we're seeing is that things are definitely moving again. When we look at our market data for the last seven weeks here in Benita Estero, we actually see that we had uh, 707 new listings come on the market. Um, again, and this is in the last seven days and 511 solds. So the good news about that is, is we have a little bit more inventory coming on than going off. Now we do also have 633 pending listings. So the reality is, is not all 100% of those will go sold, but we do hope that most of them will. So in another month, we'll be able to kind of check and see. Overall, our inventory numbers are still down here, but we're continuing to see things, things come on the market. So several things are happening there. Uh, some people always have to move. So some people, it might've already been in their plans. They might've had the house listed before the hurricane. Um, we have a high number of back on the markets. There are a lot of reasons for that. We have some sellers that the kids were home from school for three weeks, so they decided to pull it off the market um, while we kind of navigated that part of the post-hurricane experience. In other cases, we had um, folks that, you know, didn't have uh, running water for a while, didn't have electricity, so it was kind of hard to keep the house up to showing standards. So there are a lot of reasons why houses are coming on and off the market. In some cases, it's interest rate driven. Um, the interest rates continue to go up. So there are all kinds of reasons, but the good news is, is that we still have inventory here in Southwest Florida. What we know for sure is no matter what, there are always people who are gonna wanna live the Southwest Florida lifestyle and many people are willing to um, take, take into account that there are natural occurrences that happen here weather-wise, just like so many parts of our country. So even um, coming out of the hurricane, we still have a lot of demand for people moving here. So I'm gonna share a few different data points with you on uh, what we are seeing that, that tells us that definitely our market is moving, which is a great thing. Uh, first thing I'll say, People still want to move to Southwest Florida. It is a great place to live. Um, you know, coming out of Ian, definitely, um, you know, one of the worst storms in history, but our folks here are resilient and everyone is rebuilding and it's amazing to kind of see all the effort. And the reality is, is while many on our coast have been greatly affected, um, most of the areas in Southwest Florida fared the storm very well. So we are definitely seeing and receiving calls from people who are still wanting to come here. I've set four appointments for out-of-state buyers coming in the state of November just this week. So it's a great data point. People are coming. They're still coming to visit. They're still considering moving here to Southwest Florida. So another data point that speaks to the fact that yes, 
the market is um, is still moving is that we're starting to get calls from investors and people who are keeping a watch on certain areas. So the reality is, is uh, we are going to have investors coming in. They're going to be scooping up um, houses that need repairs. Um, we have investors coming in having conversations about big areas as part of the rebuild. So they still want property. It's a great place to be an investor here in Southwest Florida as a um, secondary home market. There are a lot of people who come, so you can have some great short-term rentals. Um, if you watch any of our videos, you know we also own some rentals. We do annual rentals, but there are always gonna be people who are wanting to move and live here in Southwest Florida. So let's be real. Interest rates are high right now. Uh, they're not the highest they've ever been. And in fact, when you look over history, uh, they're actually not terrible when you compare to what was happening, you know, back in the 80s and the 90s. But compared to what we've been used to for the last, you know, five to 10 years, they are very high. Um, so we have a lot of people who are starting to say, you know, I'm going to wait and maybe see what's going to happen with those interest rates. So again, we do not have a crystal ball. We don't know what's gonna happen, but here's what we know. We know that when we look at statistics from Florida Realtors, it shows us that um, we've got a graph that actually shows statistics of home appreciation after major hurricanes here in the state of Florida. And there is consistently um, a great amount of appreciation. We don't know what's gonna happen with pricing, but all indication is that we are not gonna see a crazy amount of dipping in the market. So yes, the interest rates have um, certainly caused some people to pause. Here, here's the thing, just like the real estate market goes up and down, interest rates go up and down. So what we can't guarantee is that pricing is gonna go down. The statistics, uh, when we look at the statistics of history, in fact, they um, look to to thinking that they, they are not going to go down in the next few years. And the demand continues to come into Florida. So when we just look at supply and demand overall, our inventory numbers are down. Our demand continues uh, to be strong. So that leads us to believe that we're not going to see any kind of crazy price, price changes or price dips in the near future. Again, we don't know that, but what we know is if you find the home that you love, that meets your criteria, it is a good idea to go ahead and purchase and start living your Florida lifestyle. You can always refinance later. So none of us like signing rates at those high rates. In fact, we're purchasing a property in North Carolina right now. It's a condo, which typically means you're going to have a higher interest rate. It's an, uh, an investment property for us, which typically means you're going to have a higher interest rate. And I'm not going to lie, when we saw that interest rate pushing 9%, it's like, Whoa! but it's a property that we love in a place that we want to have an investment property and a place that we can escape the humidity in the summer. So we're moving forward to it, but we will be watching and we will be refinancing as soon as the rates come back down. So what we try to help people with is controlling the things that you can control. And here's something that you can, we cannot control the rates. We can, cannot, cannot control what's happening with the pricing. But what you can control is arming yourself with all the information you need to make the best decision for your family. So what does that look like? First of all, choose a professional, a professional uh, mortgage person, a professional realtor, who has done a lot of business and is gonna put your needs first. Um, you wanna make sure that they are not somebody who is just looking to get the next deal done, but they truly are gonna to listen to you, listen to your needs, and they are gonna help you problem solve and find solutions and put together a path to get what it is that you want. It's always been important to talk to a mortgage broker if you're getting financing before going out and looking at homes. It could not be more important at this point. The way that the rates are fluctuating and changing, uh, um, a, lot of, a lot of people, it's hard to understand how that actually impacts the amount of home that you can actually afford. So if you have been house hunting for a while, the number probably looks different today. So it's really important to, to go through the steps, 
ahead of time so that you can figure out not just what you can get approved for, and this is what we talk about all the time as well, but how much you're comfortable spending. So you have to have a clear picture to be able to move forward. If you're considering selling your home, and taking advantage of the market, and then purchasing something different, it's still important to start that process before you sell your home because you need to run different scenarios um, using your professional realtor with looking at your comparative market analysis, how much money they believe your home can sell for, and then having different choices. If you sell it for this amount, if you sell it for this amount, then combining it with what does that mean that you can afford on the other end. So it is so, so important to take time to do some of that legwork up front to make sure that you make the best decision for your family. So home ownership is one of the greatest ways to build wealth and security for your family. So this gives you kind of an idea of what's happening with our market right now. We'll continue to update as things change and as things get fluid. If you have questions, if there's anything that you wanna know, anything that we can help with, please reach out. You can reach us again directly at 239-776-6872. You can find us on social media. You can email us. You can comment below. You can schedule time with the Calendly link if you uh, would like to just go ahead and schedule something that works in your calendar. We would love to talk to you. So we've just recently uh, released a new update and you should check it out. Look what's happening with the wild blue amenities. They're incredible and they're getting so close to being fully, fully completed and we can't wait to show you what it looks like today.